All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, generate random whole numbers within a range. All right. So we can generate a random whole number in the range from zero to a given number. Uh, we can also pick a different lower number for this range, right? Uh, so we'll call our minimum number min and our maximum number max. So this formula below uh, gives us a random whole number in the range from min to max. So let's just take a moment to read it and try to understand what this code's doing, right? So we've got the math.random here, but we're going to multiply it by max minus min plus one. So let's say max is 10, right? Let's, well, whatever. Let's say max is 10 and min is five. How about that? So max minus min would be, uh, what is it? 10 minus five, which would be five plus one is six times this stuff. So we already know from the last one, whatever the number is that we multiply it by, this will never touch it because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go up to one. It doesn't go up to whatever the max is. So when we say max dot mi max minus min plus one, it'll give us six instead of five. That way five will be an option. And then we'll add min to it. We'll add the five back to it so that if it gives us like, uh, four, three, two, or whatever, whatever. I don't even know if that's the case. Uh, <laughs> okay. So like, Mm, what if we're, oh wait, with it, min is five, I remember now. So yeah, if it gives us like, uh, you know, like one or two or three, we just add five to it, and it'll make it six, seven or eight, something like that. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So, and then we do the math out floor to it, no big deal. So uh, that's not even the order. Anyway, whatever, hopefully you get it. If it. We do this, then we do this, then we add this, all right? And it'll give us uh, between five and 10 if, if uh, 10 is the max and five is the min. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to create a function called a random range that takes a range my min and my max and returns a random whole number that's greater than or equal to my min and less than or equal to my max. So we're basically going to do the exact same as this. So we'll just come over here and say, uh, what are we going to say? Let's say math.random. All right. And then we'll multiply that times, uh, what do we got? We got my min, so my max minus my min, like that, plus one. And then we will wrap this in parentheses, do a math.floor on that. And then we will add after this whole thing, after the second set of parentheses, we'll add the min. So add my min like that. And let's come down here and do a uh, console.log. So we'll do a console.log random range and then my min and my, no, 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 no. How about five? How about five and 10? How about that? And so it'll be five right here. And if we change it up, it'll do all kinds of, it'll do between five and 10, no matter what. So let's uh, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to use the parse int function and we'll see you next time.